or shots are going to go everywhere and there's nothing you can do about that. But there is something you can do about not running and shooting. You can walk. You can stop. You can crouch. All of those things will reduce the amount of randomness. What the hell? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Are you serious? 2 p.m. on a Sunday. We don't have a full match. 2 p.m. on a freaking Sunday. We don't have a full match in tier 10. Huh. <laughs> okay. Our game is doing just fine, says Wargaming. Sure. Sure. Sure it is. It's totally not dying. Hey, yeah, sure, everyone is at church, right. So, you can reduce the amount of randomness by not running, by not walking, by standing still, crouching, whatever. And the weapon has a pattern, so you learn the weapon pattern. And you drill the mechanic or the counter mechanic of how to control that recoil into your arm, into your brain, into your body. So every time you shoot, your hand is doing a very specific type of movement that's countering the way the spray is going to work. Once you learn it, that's it. I'm not saying it's easy. I'm not saying I learned it. I'm just saying it's there and professional players learn it. So you reduce the amount of randomness to a bare minimum. So it's about skill. How skillful you are. But if I aim there, and there's a guy there, and I pull the trigger, and no shots hit him, no bullets hit him, then where's the skill in that? I did my job. The best thing I could have done was to aim well. I aimed well, and then a random mechanic decided I missed everything. Or a random mechanic decided that I hit everything and set him on fire three times. Do you know how big of a difference that makes in professional gaming in any gaming in in anything but in professional gaming if if two ships of the same type meet each other and one has lower hp on his main battery guns because random if one cannot get fires but the other one is if one detonates and the other doesn't It's unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Sashi, 70 months. Thank you so much. Well, that guy's going to have fun. I play Daisy. If you aim badly and miss, you're dead most likely. Yeah. Yeah. The least amount of RNG that the game has, the more popular and successful it's going to be. Because skill matters. comes down more to you than some random mechanic. The more it can come down to you and the less it can come down to a random mechanic, the more appealing that's going to become to people and the more they'll be willing to give it give it time and, and get better. If a game is fun and, and, and all that jazz. Wow, that took forever to shoot down those planes. How is that sub still alive? Yeah, that sub is still alive.
Where is she? Damn, I turned that Hydro on to not get torpedoed, and now I don't have it when I need it. I cannot not do this. I gotta. Nine and a half. Nice. We're not spotted anymore. think I'm going to shoot you back? Over pencil. See this, this is bullshit. This is what I really dislike about this game. That cruiser is giving full broadside. And you can't punish him. Like it's just, that's just not the way the game is supposed to work. Simple as that. Submarine actually got away from us, boys. That's bad. Ten versus ten. Why is that submarine on 30 meters? Why is she not on the surface and saving her diving capacity? He's literally wasting his air for no reason at all. I gotta go for those caps. Since our team won't. We're gonna win on points if this keeps up.
Uh, two submarines, a DD, and Smolensk, plus two battleships to deal with. Like, holy hell, we can die super fast. Gonna have to surface again soon. I think the carrier will get her now. Oof, that hurt. Nice. One submarine less to worry about. <laughs> no way, man. No way. <laughs> this is this is um, this is impossible. One hit. One hit from first volley and then one hit from second volley. How is that even possible? How the hell is that even possible? I have a hydro on, so if we do get two kilometers... Yeah. Ungo, are you in range? Yep, nice. And now my hydro goes down. Now we're losing A. Come on. Is that... Wait, so enemy... Destroyer is in A, and Kerr first ran away there, so... Hmm. I wanted to tell CV to go kill Carrier. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I was like, it's United States. He has really fast planes. If he goes and helps kill Kerfurst, that's all the way there. That's a lot easier than the rest of us to go and deal with that shit. Gonna go in reverse. Oh yeah, nice. GG. One kill, 34k upon scouting, 208,000 damage. Not bad. 
21 planes, high caliber dreadnought. Nice base XP. Jeez. 